can't say it enough, but during times like this, you need to watch this so you can step up your crypto trading. That's why for this clip of Crypto Trading Explained with me here, John Doe, we're gonna go deeper into candlestick patterns. Candlesticks on a chart represent the price action inside an isolated time frame, or the battle that bulls and bears go through on influencing price. Japanese candlesticks are thought to be created and deployed in the 18th century by Japanese rice traders. Here is a visual refresher on what they explain in a given time frame, showing the highs, the opens, the close, and the lows. Everything related to the candle shows a signal and the patterns create greater signals versus individual candles and help you find entry and exit signals to make predictions on the market momentum. Now, first up right here, we have what's called a bullish engulfing. This is pretty much when that next candle becomes bullish and engulfs the previous candle, completely covering its high and its low in bullish momentum. And right here we have a bearish engulfing and this is the complete opposite of a bullish engulfing. And this is pretty much when we have the next candle as a bearish candle that completely engulfs the previous bullish candles high and low. And right here we have a piercing line and this does sometimes signal the bottom of a downtrend. And that's when we have a bullish reversal candle that makes a new low, but also continues and starts pushing towards the highs. And usually you will see some type of V-shaped recovery with this pattern, with this next one being bullish and price starting to finally continue to push up. Now right here we have a dark cloud cover and this is pretty much continuing from that previous one I just showed you, except this is a bearish reversal pattern. So we have a bullish candle and then we have a bearish one here that makes a new high, but it does break down and close in a low range. But and then to continue on this bearish pattern, we get this nice one here that confirms price will push down to test the lows of that bullish candle. And typically after we have this candle here, that's when price will finally break down. This right here is probably one of the most recognizable. This is tweezer bottoms. Now in a downtrend, when you do see something like a tweezer bottom where you make you get a bearish candle and a bullish candle that are pretty much identical in size and it is towards price support, then we can't see that as a tweezer bottom for price to finally have a bullish reversal. Now right here is the exact opposite, which is a tweezer tops and you see price is having an uptrend and then we get the same thing here two almost identical bullish and bearish candles and then price starts pushing downwards right here is a bullish harami which is japanese word for pregnant myself i don't call it that but this is when the previous candle swallows the next candle which indicates that a bearish trend is ending and bullish is emerging this one right here is the complete opposite with the bullish candles swallowing the next bearish one but this one can still indicate that a bearish market is starting right here is a bullish harami cross and this is when we get a doji candlestick possibly signaling an uptrend and this usually is seen at the bottom of a downtrend here we have the complete opposite of bearish harami cross and this is the exact same thing but opposite with a doji candlestick after this major bullish candle and this could be indicating that this is the top and we will see a reversal right here we have a morning star that's usually three candlesticks and this is more for the bullish side where we have price breaking down and we have the star and then a bullish candle indicating a breakout from that previous candle and then the pullback and then continuation of the breakout here's an evening star which is the complete opposite of the one i just showed you here we have three white soldiers and this can be paired with the rsi during overbought oversold conditions if you see something like this form during oversold conditions then it can be signaling a bottom and price reversal right here's a complete opposite three black crows and this is a bearish pattern indicating a uptrend reversal here we have rising three methods and sometimes i look at this as just like a bull flag where we have the breakout the pullback and then continuation. Now this is the opposite falling three methods and this is just like a bear flag where price breaks down, we get some type, uh, sort of consolidation here and then continuation of the downtrend. Three inside up right here which looks just like the three soldiers. In this one price has a heavy sell off but support holds and we see a strong reversal with these next bullish candles forming hammers and continuing to push higher highs. This is the complete opposite right here in terms of a bearish trend and this is when we see price up and then continue down making lower lows now here we have three outside up you won't really see these patterns too often great rule of thumb stick to the main pattern and maybe even following too many patterns can be bad for your trading so stick to the main ones so the bottom line is as japanese rice traders discovered centuries ago investors emotions surrounding the trading of an asset had a major impact on its movement. Now candlesticks help traders gauge the market emotions surrounding a stock or other assets, helping them make better predictions about where that asset might be headed. That's all.